when I think about leadership, I think about building relationships. I think about being that trusted advisor to people who are on my team. I think one of the interesting things I've learned is that the state's greatest asset isn't really its data. Its greatest asset and its greatest defense against cybersecurity threats is its employees. It's each and every one of us. Once I actually arrived here, I began to understand the more important aspect of networking and collaborating with your industry and other State Department peers. You get to share your experiences and understand how others are responding to threats that are inherent in the industry and collaborating and supporting each other. The flow of the classes has been nothing but professional. The content has been very challenging, very engaging, and moreover, I think the enthusiasm of the instructors for their subject has really brought a lot to the content we're learning. Within the academy, other students I've been working with, they also have security operation concerns and challenges, and in the end, we're able to provide feedback to each other and learn from our strengths and weaknesses. This is great for someone already practicing security in their office or someone just getting started like myself. This academy gave me in two months close to five years of real life experience in terms of knowledge and security. I really found myself engaged and learning every step of the way. One of the really great benefits of attending the class has been getting to be around other security professionals who take this topic as passionately as I do. We all come from various sizes of departments, so we all bring a different breadth of knowledge. The personal side of it really came into focus on day one by understanding that my challenges were not unique. And I think by sharing experiences, you're able to stand on the shoulders of wise men in the sense that you can learn from others and avoid the mistakes that they may have made when addressing a particular threat. Mostly the threat intelligence factors that affect here at the agency that I work at also affect other agencies that we are trying to protect. We've had some serious rock stars as instructors at this course. These are people who've been featured at Black Hat, DEF CON, other security conferences. They're folks who've spoken to leaders at the national level, state level, other states as well. The collaboration was key. You could tell that they were not only knowledgeable, but trusted advisors. They really allowed us to collaborate, foster that team environment, and really just have fun. You learn a lot, not just how to practice security, but also how to take the security to the next level in terms of how do we actually make sure your department has the best security program in place. I've been able to learn emotional intelligence, risk management, and the frameworks that I've been able to bring back to the team, whether it's FIPS, NIST, SAM, or SIM. The really great thing about the Academy is it takes you out of your comfort zone. There are challenges and your brain is constantly working and it just fills up with all of this knowledge. I've already had a number of instances where I've reached out to some of my ISLA cohorts to get their feedback and better understand how they've responded to certain scenarios to guide me in making a better informed decision. This experience, frankly, surpasses anything I've encountered at any of the other security trainings I've had. If you're seeking to be a leader in information security, I would recommend ISLA to you. I don't think any other setting other than ISLA could have given us so much. I would recommend it for the people getting into cybersecurity as well as people that have been working in cybersecurity within the state of California. You will not regret being a part of the class and being a part of a community and a network of people that are always there to help you.